goal of an event is to move men from acquaintances at church to actually being friends with one another. Talk about making that happen and yeah. the importance of that. Well, it's almost sometimes it's moving them from isolation to acquaintance. Yeah. Uh, then maybe acquaintance to friendship. But again, you're, you're looking for a relevant, safe place where men can go. So what's your name again? Jeff. Yeah, Jeff. I've seen you at church. I, you got a couple of you. Okay. Or to say, I do know your name already. I know a little bit about your family. So how's it going? Really, how's it going? We got time to actually talk about it now. Uh, rarely are men carving out time in their schedule for these kind of appointments where they're catching up and getting to know guys and really seeing if there's chemistry with other men. Really, that's a big part of these events and seeing if you click, if there's chemistry with other guys. If I'm, if I'm at a, an, a men's event with, say, half a dozen guys from my church or maybe more and, you know, boom, 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 I'm with all of them, but I really enjoy being with Tom. You know, I enjoyed what Tom had to say. We connect a little bit. He shared what he learned. I shared what I learned. He seemed to appreciate it. I might like to get to know Tom better. That's a successful event right there. I think that's what the word catalytic event means. Or exactly. If an event causes a man to form a friendship with another guy and he starts walking in Christ with that guy, just right. encourage each other, pray for each other. Something huge has happened. It's a huge deal. I that's mean, huge. you think, well, really, is that a huge deal? Yes, it's a huge deal. And also, it's not happening. All yeah. the data tells you that men are, you know, the Proverbs uses the word isolation. They don't feel isolated because they're with hundreds and hundreds of men every Sunday, but they're not talking to anybody. Right. 